Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets also, on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, sambo, jiu-jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet, the other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Huge block there. Well, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, missed on that one. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Now he's got over on him. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back and forth we go here. Nice strike. Punch coming, it's blocked. Try to establish that jab. Slips the punch. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nermago Medov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every single day. Big punch lands over the top. I'm just gonna follow this one. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Head kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Whips on the elbow. Oh, collar's high. I can't take many of those, better check. Yeah, left hook found its target. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Right hook to the body. Yeah. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, hook to the head by Nermago Meta. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. That was a thudding leg kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands often. Effective punch there by Nurmagomedov. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Under a minute now to go in round one. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. And just misses with that big right hand. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the run. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected, but we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Starting to 
to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Gets the elbow up into the target. Pretty significant well to the left side. Nice. His misses are entertaining. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick land. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, nice. Nice. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue the game posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch by Nurmagomedov. All right, so 74 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, this is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. All right, close guard now. Busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good fight here under two to go. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. He's got the ground and pound going now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 10 seconds remain in round two. A lot of top pressure being applied here. And that's the end of round number two.
right back down to the ground, and then we're in your way. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfect. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a... Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Starting to swell significantly now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab? Oh! What a fantastic strikes to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his focus. Go finish his fight. He's getting lit up right now, John. Goes in and secures the takedown. Side control. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. I need you to get control of his wrist. I need This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Oh, the ground and pound is there. over three minutes to go. Scramble and go, scramble and go. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round number three. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top liner, Mago Meta. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this. That is it! Unbelievable! Tower, oh my goodness! What a fight! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle, And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.